My name is Steve Murphy. I live in Brookline, Massachusetts. I'm 34 years old and I'm a financial consultant and independent contractor. As a financial consultant, I work with mainly small companies and startups that need help in the financial areas. Two years ago, I quit my full-time job. I was working for a large multinational at that point, but I took the time off to become an independent contractor so I'd also have time to write. I've been uh, working on some fiction projects. Right now I'm working on a novel. I've worked on some short stories. Nothing published yet, but um, it's just it's something that I'd wanted to do for about 10 years and um, after working seven day weeks and 24 hour days, I decided it was about time to do it. I'm really not a poetry buff. I, I don't read a lot of poetry when I have. I've got to admit a lot of it has struck me as strange or complex, it just it, it really hasn't done uh, much for me and it's particularly painful for my mother who's an English teacher and actually teaches poetry. So, um, But this poem my parents actually had on the wall in their home in Connecticut um, and I'd, I'd read it a couple of times and it really hadn't done anything for me that, that any other poems had done either. And then uh, a couple of years ago my brother and his wife had their first son, Keenan, and he was diagnosed with a genetic disorder called spinal muscular atrophy. It's, uh, it's a fatal disorder. It's not treatable. It kills most of the kids by their first birthday and all of them pretty soon after that. And uh, I don't know, in the middle of everything that was going on um, with my nephew, I, I read it again and I, something about it just struck me. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, hard to understand why babies have to die, so um, I, I think you look for support wherever you can find it. For me, it was my family, my friends, God, um, and the poem for a couple of minutes. I carry the poem in my wallet. Um, I just, I typed it up on a piece of paper and it's, uh, it's on one side the prayer of St. Francis was on the other and um, I put it there I don't know just to uh, remind me it's it's uh, I mean I, I'm not going to fool you the, the the poem doesn't make it all better I mean my nephew's gone and it didn't make it all better for him it's not going to make it better for my niece who has the same disease but uh for a moment, though, the, the poem really did make it better. It really did. And, you know, that's a, that's a pretty amazing thing, so. The Emigrant Irish by Avon Bolin. Like oil lamps, we put them out the back of our houses, of our minds. We had lights better than, newer than, and then a time came, this time, and now we need them, their dread makeshift example. They would have thrived in our necessities, but they survived we could not even live. By their lights, now it is time to imagine how they stood there, what they stood with. Their possessions may become our power, cardboard, iron, their hardships parceled in them, patience, fortitude, long suffering in the bruise-colored dusk of the new world and all the old songs and nothing to lose.